So now, let's gonna continue with the pilot projects that we have. Uh, yeah, we don't need this chair. <laughs> so yeah, let's let me introduce to our next guest because we have the pilot project right now. A couple of them. The first one is gonna be CF with Zip Zero. And they are going to present a solution on how data can improve sustainability, proficiency, uh, efficiency, and profitability. Uh, so welcome to the stage to Tobias and Marty Jean. Do you have this one? Do you have? Oh, yeah, thank you. Sorry, sir. Thank you, Raul. It's great to be back at ZF uh, at the main stage again. Now with Ship Zero, uh, we could be more proud today. Um, we indeed, uh, Raul, we will present our sustainability as a solution uh, for decarbonization road transportation. My name is Martijn Maters from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and I'm leading global partnerships digitally for ZF Commercial Vehicle Division. And I'm very happy to be here with Tobias, my partner in crime, CEO and founder of Ship Zero. Thank you. So um, now to the topic, why is it relevant, uh, decarbonization of road transportation? Well, first of all, for its magnitude. Um, of all road transport, 71% is going over road. And that are one trillion of kilometers each year driven in Europe by trucks and LCVs. That's 3,000 times the sun and back. And this is incredibly inefficient. At this moment in time, 25% of all the trucks and trailers and LCVs are empty. And of the ones filled, actually only 55% are occupied. There's an enormous potential for optimization of decarbonization and CO2 emission. It's also an urgent problem because if we continue in the same pace, that emission will double. And hence, all kinds of regulation have to be put, like a GLAC framework standardization of calculating, uh, measurement, reporting out, but also acting on decarbonization towards transport companies, we call them fleets. And they need to adhere to all this compliance, and it's utterly difficult for them. We need to automate, we need uh, to standardize it, it's costly, so it's completely ambivalent what their perspective is. Uh, so they need support, and this is exactly what we are committed to do as ZF and Ship Zero to decarbonize based on an end-to-end -end digital solution. So how we will do it, it's actually very simple. We will combine key technology from ZF and the sustainability expertise of Ship Zero into one digital solution. So ZF, as you might know, is the uh, third largest tier one, and we're leading actually commercial vehicle technology, investing dramatically in ACE technology. And we believe connectivity sits at the heart of our vision to decarbonize and to our vision of zero emission. But we also understand we cannot do it alone. So we need partners like Ship Zero. We built a platform, an open agnostic platform, where we can fuse data coming from our vehicles together with the expertise of Ship Zero. Yes, um, ecologic sustainability comes down to two core questions. How do I optimize my existing network of logistics activities? And how do I transform fuels and assets in the future towards net zero? Ship Zero provides data insights as a platform, as a neutral platform for exactly those questions. Um, basically managing the complex and painful data integration part for our clients, but also then providing trust and conformity and ultimately enabling freight buyers to take action. If you could. Um, the Scalar platform, the open Scalar platform of ZF and Ship Zero unites the conviction of an open data platform as the key solution for decarbonization. What Ship Zero does is basi basically um, cutting short um, the data collection process, but then also the calculation of trip level based emissions and ultimately providing the trust uh, through our accreditation uh, in, in, it in international standards. And together with the software and hardware base of ZF, um, you see the numbers here, over 300,000 connected trucks and trailers, over 2,000 connected fleets, uh, we create a one of its kind sustainability as a service solution here for the road freight industry. And how does that work? Um, if you can continue, please. Um, 
One example that we currently pilot is in the chemical industry, and we, our collaboration puts the focus on the fleet owners as the core of the transformation uh, uh, of the industry in road freight. Um, we work with a Hamburg-based, um, highly specialized chemical operator, Kube and Kubens, and we connect them not only with, um, with continuous data exchange, not only to the solution providers for decarbonization measures, meaning renewable fuel providers, but also to their transport buyers who desperately seek transparency in their scope three transport emission base. And I will uh, continue on the next slide uh, how that exactly works. Our partnership, Scala and Ship Zero, works directly with the fleet owner and leverages the data that comes out of the, uh, of, out of the vehicles, but also out of the freight order data. With that, we enable them to uh, gain or to speed up the adoption of alternative fuel providers because we build the trust so that a chemical producer, a client of Kuba and Kubans, can buy natively green fried products and at the same time receives a compliant validation of this transaction in the logistics activities. And this really spins a wheel. We connect network partners, we connect ecosystem partners to make collaboration um, the key of the decarbonization um, yeah, campaign, basically. And yeah, with that, um, I think there is only one last thing that I want to add. Um, you can't decarbonize alone. That's what's the major theme of our collaboration. Um, this is why I also want to thank especially ZF Ventures who brought us together as partners who set this up and initiated our collaboration. But I want to also address this to the audience here. Um, let's work all together and let's push hard for a net zero movement to succeed and to uh, make road freight um, yeah, net zero. Thank you very much. Thank you.